it's time for another verb of the day. Today's verb is clear. Before we start talking about definitions, I want to note that this verb clear has many different meanings. So that I'm, I'm not lecturing and re reading to you so many different examples, I thought I'd pick out maybe four of the most common ones you might hear or see when you're reading. The first way the verb clear gets used is to mean to remove an obstruction or unwanted item or items from somewhere. For this meaning, you might think about clearing a table or clearing your desk if you're a student. This is something you might have heard your teacher say. Another meaning for the verb clear is to give official approval to someone. This is another way to say that something has been okayed or approved. A third meaning for the verb clear is to become free of cloud or rain. So this is actually a verb I hear pretty often when I watch uh, the weather on TV news or meteorologists. You'll hear them use this word clear pretty often. A fourth way the verb clear gets used is to mean to officially declare someone to be innocent. If you watch TV shows or movies that are about police or courts, uh, you might hear this verb being used. Um, it might be that someone has been cleared of a crime. Clear is, an ir is a regular verb. To make the progressive tense, all I need to do is add ing to form clearing. The past tense and participle forms of this verb are made by adding ed. And because this verb ends in a voiced consonant sound, the ed is going to make a d sound. Cleared. Cleared. Let's take a look at some phrasal verbs. We're going to discuss two phrasal verbs together because their meaning is pretty much the same. Clear away and clear off mean to remove or clean. There is a small difference between the two. When I use clear away, what comes after the preposition away are going to be the things or objects that I am removing. When I use clear off, I'm going to put after off the object or surface that has been cleaned. Here's an example sentence. After dinner, I cleared away the plates and dishes. The sentence could have the same meaning, but use slightly different words if I said, after dinner, I cleared off the table. So. That would imply that I'm removing plates and dishes. Another phrasal verb you might hear is clear out, and it means to throw away or take away unwanted objects or things. Here's an example sentence. I'm going to clear out the attic this weekend. Another phrasal verb you might hear is clear up. It means to explain. Here's an example sentence. Before we go further, will you clear up the meaning of these new words? Just another way to ask someone to explain something. Clear up can have a very different meaning as well, uh, and that's to cure or recover from an infection or illness. Here's an example sentence. I used some ointment and the rash cleared up quickly. Next, let's take a look at using the verb clear in a few different verb tenses. Today, we'll talk about simple past, simple present, and future perfect. Let's start with simple past. To make an affirmative sentence in the simple past tense, I'm going to use that ed um, spelling of my verb 
And that's going to be the same no matter what my subject is, whether it's singular or plural, I'm going to use the ED form. Here's an example sentence. My boss cleared me to return to work. This sentence goes back to that uh, definition we talked about about giving approval. So my boss is approving me to come back. This could happen uh, after someone has been uh, ill or injured um, or perhaps something has happened in the building uh, to change whether it's safe to come back in or not. If I want to make a negative sentence in the simple past tense, I'm going to use did not and then the base verb. No ed in negative sentences. Here's an example. I didn't clear the notifications on my phone earlier. Finally, if I want to make a yes or no question in the simple past tense, I'm going to start with did, then the subject, and then the base verb. Here's an example of that. Did her notes clear things up? So another way to ask, did that help explain things? Next, let's look at simple present. In the affirmative, this uh, verb is going to change based on our subject. If our subject is he, she, or it, we need to add an S to the base verb. But if the subject is I, you, we, or they, the verb is just going to, to stay in its uh, base form. Let's look at a sentence. He clears the table after every meal. If I want to make a negative sentence in simple present, I'm going to use does not in the base verb or do not in the base verb. You might hear native speakers use the contraction forms don't or doesn't. Here's an example. We don't clear off the counter very often. If I want to make a yes or no question in the simple present, I'm going to start with do, then our subject, and then the base verb. Do you clean out your closet every year? Next, let's look at future perfect. To make this verb tense, we're going to use will, have, and then the participle form of the verb, which just happens to be the same as the past tense with this particular verb. Let's take a look at a sentence. By five o'clock tomorrow, the rain showers will have Cleared. Just another way to say it's going to stop raining by 5 o'clock. If I want to make a negative sentence in future perfect, I want to insert not right after will. You might hear native speakers use the contraction form won't. Here's an example sentence. The check won't have cleared in time. This sentence also goes back to that meaning of approval or authorization. Finally, let's look at making a yes or no question in the future perfect. To do that, I'm going to use will, then our subject, then have, and the participle form of the verb. Will COVID-19 cases have cleared up enough for students to return to class? Next, let's take a look at some words that are related to our verb clear. The first thing to note is that the exact same spelling and exact same pronunciation can be an adjective or an adverb. And that can be kind of confusing sometimes, especially because of the multiple meanings the adjective or adverb could have. Let's start with uh, looking at the meaning of the adjective clear. One meaning is something is easy to understand. Here's an example of that. The directions were clear. Another meaning for clear could be transparent or unclouded. Again, you might hear this adjective used if you're listening to a weather forecast. Here's an example of that. Tomorrow will be a clear day. Finally, another meaning for the adjective clear is 
free of blockages or unwanted objects. Here's an example of that. Is the road clear now? Is anything blocking the road? Another way to say that. As I told you before, clear can also be an adverb. It could mean entirely or completely. This might be something uh, you hear more commonly in the Midwest or southern uh, portion of the United States. Um, a sentence like this. He drove clear off the road. Just another way to say completely. Another related adverb is clearly. It can have a couple meanings as well. The first is easy to perceive or understand. Here's an, in an, in a sentence. She's able to write clearly. Clearly could also, though, mean without doubt. You might see this um, at the beginning of a sentence or at the very end. Here's an example of that. Clearly, we have made mistakes. Kind of another way to say, obviously. The last word we're going to look at today is an adjective. It's unclear. You might recognize those letters UN. It's the prefix un, which means not. So unclear means not easy to see, hear, or perhaps understand. Here's an example sentence. The teacher's explanation was unclear. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a great day.